Hey everybody, welcome back to All About The Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today we're going to be talking about Netflix's miniseries, Unbelievable. So this miniseries came out on Netflix September the 13th. It is eight episodes long. Each episode is about 45 minutes or so. It does star uh, Caitlin uh, Deaver, Merritt Weaver, and Tony Collette. Let me just say right off the bat, what an amazing cast. So before I officially start off this review, I just want to just put a little disclaimer up there. If you guys are new, this is not normally how I do my reviews. Normally, you'll see me instead of just hearing my voice, but I am going to be honest with you, I am being a little bit vain today. So I thought it would be a fun little different thing for me to do it this way. If this is how you prefer reviews, let me know down below because I wouldn't mind doing stuff like this. It's actually pretty interesting. So um, let's go ahead and just get on with this review. It does start off with Marie, which is played by Caitlin um, Deaver. Uh, we start off seeing her um, after the incident of her being raped. Um, the policemen come and start questioning her. Straight off the bat, she kind of does start giving me, like, different stories, which is kind of what ends up, you know, making the policemen and everybody kind of, like, doubt her if this is really even happening. It's pretty fucked up, to be honest with you. Oh, you know what? Let me stop right here before I get any further. If you are a victim of rape or just abuse in general, I do want to just kind of put like a viewer discretion on this. So the movie kind of goes goes back between like a three year period because this is how long uh, this rapist has been attacking uh, women and getting away with it without being caught. The rapist was targeting women who were just alone and... Also, I do want to point out there that they do say that it's based on a true story. So I'm not exactly sure if this is like all the people, like the descriptions of each of his victims. Since it is a TV show, you know, they could easily have put this in a whole different direction as far as who these victims were. Um, just like we see like all the time, like in movies and TVs, it's always, you know, the tall, thin, hot, blonde, ditzy, drunk, you know, girl who have who ends up being a victim. I don't want to say anything bad and I hope nobody like asks me for that, but I'm just kind of going by the stereotypic of who the victims are always in movies and in TV shows, you know, the ones that are quote unquote um, dressed too sexy. All the women who were all different, different races, different ages, different sizes. So in this um, series, uh, we do go between Marie. She ends up being actually the first victim to three years in the future, which is where we meet um, the detective, which I gotta say, are uh, what a fantastic duo. I absolutely love them. I felt like they fed off of each other so well. Both detectives in different counties. And literally, the way that they ended up finding each other was really by pure dumb coincidence. They ended up making such a great uh, team that they were able to, you know, get all their resources to be able to handle this case properly unlike um unlike Marie's detectives that really I mean I did catch myself there at the end seriously called the detective an asshole I didn't believe Marie because her stories weren't at her story wasn't adding up but I mean can you blame the girl she literally just went through a rape she's in shock what they did to Marie was so messed up because basically she ended up getting violated like twice by the rapist and by the police officers. Everything that she ended up losing after that, people were literally thinking that she was a liar and she suffered so much. I mean, overall, if you haven't seen this series, I full on recommend if you're not easily triggered. And literally with the first episode, I was like reeled in and I absolutely like fell in love with it. And I know that I really wanted to get um to my old Netflix reviews before so, but as soon as I finished this, I was like, oh my God, I have got to do my review on this. So let me go ahead and leave you guys with that. And before you click out of this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye.